Hi Aquarius, if you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support. Here's your inkblot made in your name and essence, your bloody inkblot in the spirit of October. And hopefully you enjoyed your terrifying thumbnail as well. I do have a smudge here going off to the side, so if you would like to receive, by all means, sniff it in, sniff it in. We are going to scry your ink blot. We'll add on tarot and oracle. And you as well, we that. have the ghost tube here for any audio additions that may inspire or irritate. Receive or release freely. So Aquas, you know the drill. If you'd like to take a moment with me to close the eyes, cleansing the palette of perception, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. We're here in my foyer, so sorry about the creaking old family heirloom table, uh, but my other room's covered in canvas right now, so sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's fantastic. All right, aquas. Oh, a candelabra. Celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on, what's going on here? I'm seeing Uncle Fester. Somebody coming to visit you? Canada. All uh, right. Somebody from Canada, uh, going to Canada. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing somebody like poke their head out. So it feels like family. Could be a friend that feels like family, soul family, tribe family, the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, like this elaborate candle holder. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, it's like they come through. Okay, so here's one rabbit hole. If it's not a physical interaction, it's like somebody in your soul family and whatever family that is not being held to this lineage of this lifetime uh, is visiting you. Sister. And it could be a sister. And as they're stepping through, I'm getting the feeling like of Uncle Fester. And if you remember like the Adams family, everyone is excited when Uncle Fester is there. Everyone is excited. And just like Gomez and Uncle Fester, so like sister could be sister, 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 brother, or brother to brother. And it feels like they're just your person. And if they have crossed over, they're crossing back over and visiting you. Could be in your dreams, this, that, or the other. Or they could be inspiring you around other people you're meeting because they are with you. They are with you invisibly, but I feel like you get hints that you know you're not alone. And then you run into a friend or you make a new friend or something alone along that lines and they're still enjoying social life with you I just heard as well but there's something very specific <clears throat> about this uh, the resonance in this relationship that feels like siblings mm -hmm. okay sorry <laughs> got all excited there for you I'm gonna jot down here for two shakes here let me see I'm also seeing um Excuse me. <clears throat> it's outside. Yeah. I'm also seeing Mr. Belvedere. So I don't know if somebody has like a Mr. Belvedere or a lurch. If we're in the Adams family Dick. feel here, that's that's going on. Um, what what is there's also something about wallpaper. Oh, okay. So now I'm also seeing. Um, Okay, I, I, it's a feminine energy, but I was like, hello, how are you doing, dear? I don't know why it's coming through, but that's how I see it. I see it as like this, um, I guess with a Mr. Belvedere, if you have a Belvedere, there's some sort of fancy pants within it, and that's cool. <laughs> it's just a, da -da I, I love it. It's I'm not trying I to I'm not trying to mock. It's uh, very endearing. It feels I don't know. I just feel like they're kind of wandering in and. Um, I don't know what that re relationship is like or the resonance is like. Could don't even be a me. grandmother. Could even be a grandmother energy. May have passed away already. Hmm. Yeah, because there's a flower there with, with her. So it's just like, oh, darling, you're doing fabulous in this lifetime. You're doing fabulous. I am here. I feel like she's doing something with her hands. Uh, it could be like knitting or crocheting, but honestly, it feels like something f fancier, like needlepoint or I don't know those words either. Uh, sidebar, I feel like I, I am mindful of the, I'm trying to be mindful as I'm learning the, the landscape of YouTube of <clears throat> wordage. Um, okay. 
let me okay so i'm up here so if if you can see that and then i'm gonna say this to try and work my way around it you know in the movie batman okay yeah you know in the movie batman and the reason why batman became batman subscribers that's what i'm seeing somebody was it's like i am uh this little piece of ink has transformed a million times and i'm digging it your ink is very communicative and i appreciate that uh yeah somebody's mother may have passed the batman way And that does lead me towards possibly just being that feminine energy I was talking about that is that is uh, moved on in the graveyard. Um, grandmother or mother energy. One, one, of, one of the tether. One of the tether, dear. One of the tether. This candelabra. I, I, there's just so many fancy things going on here. It's kind of like Beauty and the Beast style. Can, what is this name? I don't know. Feel free to comment below if you remember the candle holder's name in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> because he's like wise, right? He's, he's the wise candle holder. I see you. I dig it. I dig it. Okay, well, I'm wandering back into Uncle Fester and uh, Gomez. And it feels like... Oh my goodness. I feel like when people uh, think about this energy, it's... It feels like twins, you know what I mean? Like they, you just got something, something different with your sister or with your brother, whether it's beef or, you know, uh, your best friends. Infinity, preserve your power. Okay, I'm obviously starting sure. to add on. Interesting. Okay. Aquas burning are you burning the candle at both ends i'm seeing a i think it's a dog with a big snout like almost like brian from family guy i'm also seeing a turtle shell somebody might be going back home I guess I feel like I'm being greeted by Mr. Belvedere or Lurch. A lot of wealth in this in this Aquarius. A lot of wealth. Aquas, yeah, super, super wealthy. Whether it's um, you know, healthy, wealthy, and wise in what area respect it's in, blush, love is blooming. Maybe you're wealthy in love. Or it's like, oh my god, you're like that kind of rich. And it's like no it's just you know family stuff like this humbleness about it and then oh my goodness i've i've met the love of my life and it's like oh my goodness i'm just oops blushing i am just blushing and you kind of like turn away it's like oh don't look don't look i'm so happy i don't <laughs> oh my goodness i love it i love it what was this that came out to support dragonfly there is a deeper meaning look at all this nectar all of this nectar. Man, you have been patient, patient, patient. Patience has paid off. Can I turn this for another moment? Thank you. <clears throat> At some point in time, there might have been a plateau, but the plateau served to hang your coat up, hang your hat up, and to uh, reconfigure, rethink. Cut some things off. Say, this is done. This is done. On to these things. It's like following what makes me exciting because I'm seeing these two. It could, again, it could be the siblings in spirit or again, siblings in real life or just somebody, you know, soul fam, soul tribe, whatever the words the kids are using Over nowadays. Here. And you just needed to, you know, hang your coat up from, from the grind and go have fun. Hmm. Ornament. Oh, I want to go over there. Oh, what patience with this. 
I feel like if it's in, it is in regards to love, it's like, well, it's just like that there is a deeper meaning. Um, how, do, how do I say that? I felt like I was on a lot of dates. And now I found found my person, a person, that is your person, because they were like the, the brave butterfly or the ba brave dragonfly that came right to your hand. You know what I mean? Like if you're holding or like the squirrel, the chipmunk, the animal, and you're just sitting there calmly holding out your offering. And they too have to be just as brave to trust you because there's a lot of trust. And there's seriously something, yeah, growth of energy, growing more and more nectar together, not siphoning it out. Because I do feel like there's like prenup vibes or there's just a, a, a lot to be. Um, because if you've already been through a divorce or separation, emotionally, physically, monetarily, there's, you are abundant in wealth is the way I feel it. Healthy, wealthy, wise in whatever aspect. And you're protective of that. Protective of that. And you should be. But I also, I'm in this relationship where I feel very trusting. But that doesn't hello. negate, hello, knowing different things. So, yeah, success. It will be a successful relationship. Or if you're looking for that new job or whatever the case is. Or, oh my God, you're, you're, you're like that kind of rich. You're like, yep. However, but you're like, okay, that's cool. It's fine. You're very, very balanced about it emotionally in regards to whatever this growth is with this person you might be having a family with. You'll actually yeah. make more together. Which is funny. I feel like it's on board. Like you'll make more together. And this is also like in this weirdness of a prenup. Because I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily know myself. But that's okay. <laughs> um, it's like you might have a prenup now. And then like maybe in 10 years. Or five, whatever the years is. That makes you feel good. You guys will revisit it. And then you might have. Um, y you might revise it. There might be addendums. Okay. Uh, whatever the case may be. And then I also see you guys like setting up trust for the next line. Destiny. Yeah. Like uh, thinking it, thinking ahead. And also staying protecting, protecting yourself. Cut ties is on the bottom because I feel like you've already been through it. You've already been through it in some way, shape or form. It's like, you know, better. Does that make sense? It's like, you know, better. Okay. We're going there. All right. Aquas. Let's carry on. I'm seeing like a perfume bottle. Like one of those, you know, tss, tss, tss. it's like one of the older ones though. I also see somebody might have recently given birth. Congratulations. A natural birth. You're welcome. Hmm. Could be something to do with the Capricorn coming around. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. Donate. What have we got going on here? I will bring these up and you know the drill. If they mean something to you, follow that first versus my yammerings. And if I didn't say so already, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you dearly to all those who warm my haunted heart and donate. Uh, request personals all that kind of great stuff i love it it's so fun learning as i grow old lovely <laughs> younger okay so there definitely has been some sort of relationship in the past that uh went awry uh maybe maybe this is even still like your parents story so you know people tell you like war stories to be to be careful about right uh, because I, whether it's actual money or not money, you're coming into money. Maybe it's, you're going to be receiving money through an inheritance. Maybe you, your family has money. You don't have money, Let but your family you. has money. So, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes there's going to be a misconception about something. Anyway, I feel like some of you have already been through it. So, you know, and in order for this successful, uh, dragonfly energy to come in with this, you know, deeper meaning of relationships, it's like. Uh, I do feel like there just needs to be a clear, it, it will be respected. And if it's not respected, that's very revealing in and of itself. 
Uh, something about the father is coming through or you might have a father in spirit. Uh, somebody who's building something or maybe it was your father who, who built a particular legacy and you might be working for that father again I'm, i see it here in like beauty and the beast the father daughter not to say you know one or the other but that's the way i'm seeing it it's like this uh uh if your father built a business you might have an inherent ability to to add to it really well and you'll be stepping into it yeah okay the father energy male energy is very protective over you probably worries a little too much I just heard, but I have the right. I'm not going to, you know, okay. Uh, but I do see you being uh, married again and it being successful or stepping into something new. And I feel like in this case, a father-daughter is, is really close because of the Batman story with the mother. And if I didn't say so already, Aquas, I'll flip this for another reading later on in October so we get to revisit it. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm seeing those porcelain kind of dolls that would be in like a china cabinet or a curio cabinet. And they're porcelain. They're very, uh, I feel like don't touch. You look, but don't touch. That's what I'm feeling like that, that, that they are. I'm also seeing some sort of cake, multi-layered cake. Is it, is it a Muppet? I don't know if it's a Muppet or not. I can't I can't quite distinguish it. Or like Fraggle Rock or something like that. Hmm. Give me a moment here, Aquas. I just heard Leapfrog. Sorry, I just heard leapfrog. Uh, maybe again, just being if it is something to do with the family business. Uh, maybe people perceive you as you just like leapfrogging away because you're family, but they're like really you have no idea. But then to be honest with you, as soon as I even said that, I'm like people actually know exactly who like your family business is Locking. and they know the caliber, and it's like they secretly know that. You It'd be nice to think that way. It would be the easy way to think that you just kind of got to skip through this that or the other. But I, I really don't feel like you, you had that luxury. A spider, what a wild web we weave, dear child. A del delicious mystery, untamed. Getting ready to close out here for the aquas. You know what I feel like? I, protection. Yeah, it's hilarious. I feel like this masculine, now whether it is your father or maybe it is uh, your husband or your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be, they are so protective over you. Like this is the scenario that I'm seeing. It's like, okay, so this could even be your daughter or your son, but it's a feminine energy express. Right. And I'm, it's like they're having a date come over. I feel like I'm younger and you know, like it'd be like, well, mom, dad, don't embarrass me. But the dad is sitting there doing like the, <laughs> the scariest thing he can think of. Like he's using a power tool in the middle of the living room and, or he's, you know, whittling away a piece of wood with this really sharp knife. And he's like, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just he's giving off this air and this aura that um, if you have any devilish intentions that do not suit um, my dear child, <laughs> there are consequences. That's what it's making me feel like. So he's, it feels very protective in a in a sweet way. I can imagine if this is something in memory that you're like, oh my God, my mom and dad used to totally do that. It was so embarrassing, but it's kind of, you can kind of appreciate it, right? This is my house stained by the very blood flowing through its walls, covered in the veil of delicious prayers, yet deadly to those who dare lift its hidden. So there's something. Do you dare? Do you dare date my daughter or my son? <laughs> Weak. And then final messages is elements and the underworld. And I'm going to take a boo here as I go back into, um, because it's like seeing that candelabra with, um, 
many candle holders in the labra. I'm not really, she, you know what I'm saying? Like they're like, whoop, 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 whoop. And then you put, anywho. Chakras. Oh, maybe they are lighting up certain chakras. Interesting. Again, this doesn't have to be all about love, uh, love in the romantic sense. There is this vibe of it, but it feels like family love. It feels like wealth. It feels like children and watching them grow up. Like there's just so much maturity that I feel like is happening around me and it feels magnificent and it feels, you know, fancy and that's fantastic. No shame in that feels fantastic. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, so we have here, as I'm getting ready to close out for you guys, Aquas, elements. Remember to feel the warmth pulsing through her womb. You are a child of mother. True harmony awaits you. And if you do have a mother in spirit, please know that that is, like the warmth is always with you, especially in that's it, bringing in, in this spider feel in the elements. It's like she she will transform into earth, air, fire, water, space to be with you. She, she has the ability to transform into many different things to be with you, to help you, to guide you, but not take away from you your choice, right? And then protection in the underworld, which Maria. this feels very masculine to me. Hand over your known, a shift is near. Take a leap, your journey is clear. So whatever respect this is in, if it's in this relationship and you're like, oh, I want to get married, but I hesitate to, you know, about the prenup or, or you have to sign a prenup uh, and looking at intentions, deep diving, whatever the case may be, but also just knowing in general, if it's your daughter or your son or your child I or see. it's yourself, whatever it is, even this isn't about love. And this is a new adventure about your career, your choices of who you wish to be in the world aquas candelabra there are so many things lit up for you three to six it's like the bottom three root chakras are lit and then your next three right you've got <laughs> heart throat to third eye and by like the three and the three lighting up you get crowned but i kind of feel like you already are but maybe you just need to remember that Leap of faith, you are protected. I just heard too as well, if you've been married a few times, third time, maybe a charm, maybe a charm, but don't be dumb about it. <laughs> Remain responsible and respect yourself. All right, congratulations. Thank you so much, Aquas, for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. It has been a great time. It has been so fun. Uh, I thank you once again. And until next time, when we flip it for perspective possibilities, all the links are below if you'd like to help a gal grow. It's dark. And until then, I will see you again soon.